Welcome back foodies. Today we are going to make a Mediterranean style frittata full of veggie. This is a very simple recipe to make. You can substitute any ingredients to fit your taste, style, or whatever is in your pantry. First we're going to slice a medium sized onion in nice thin strips. Remember to keep your fingers tucked in. Make sure you wash your mushrooms. We don't want any dirt in our frittata now do we? Roughly chop these into your desired size. If you chop them in half, you'll have a nice flat surface to keep them from rolling around. Next, we'll take a red pepper, cut out the center with the seeds, slice into long strips, and then dice. I have some rogue seeds. Start by adding a tablespoon of olive oil to a pan over medium-high heat. Saute all your vegetables together. They'll all cook at the same time, so there's no need to start one before the other. Salt generously as this will be most of the salt in this dish, and a dash of pepper. When your onions have started to caramelize, let's add some green onions to the pan. Look at those nice colors. To a mixing bowl, we're going to add 8 eggs. You don't need different colors or one or the other. We don't discriminate against our lovely eggs here. I just had 3 brown eggs. Give your vegetables a little stir so they don't burn. Whisk your eggs with a fork. Aggressively. Mine is semi-aggressive. Grate about a cup of Parmesan cheese into your egg mixture. Careful with your grater of choice. This rasp will give me many battle wounds. A little more pepper. I love pepper. My wife does not love pepper. And let's pour this over our vegetables. Give it a mix so everyone gets to know each other. This will also help set the eggs and make sure this will cook evenly. Now, to the feta. Break off big pieces and spread around. Don't crumble it too much. You want nice feta surprises. This is why we didn't salt again. The parmesan and the feta are salty enough to help us with the seasoning. And because we're not shy about cheese in this house, more parmesan. Make it rain. The goal is to keep this on the heat so we cook our eggs on the bottom, and then we'll finish this in the oven. Now let's move this under the broiler on high. You'll know it's done when your cheese is golden and your eggs are firm to the touch. Make sure you keep an eye on this, this can burn really quickly. And here you have it, a golden Mediterranean frittata. And what frittata doesn't go well with a beautiful dollop of sour cream? Top with more green onions and poof, voila! The cross section. Let's give this a little try. This is definitely one of my favorite breakfast items. Make sure you give it a try. Foodie out. Thanks for watching, foodies. It would be great if you could smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. It helps me create great content for you. And I'll see you in the next video.